along. So the next series is going to be NATO again. Uh, this time they're going to play Sweden. Sweden may be one of the teams that can take that fourth spot, qualify for S-Class. So without further ado, we'll get this going. So uh, new map this time, Mendocino, one of the new maps that was just released um, by the ESOC map team in the most recent patch. Uh, this matchup, we have Sweden on the bottom in red, uh, insane red, playing German, and Zoy uh, in the teal or cyan, light blue, whatever you want to call it, playing Ottoman. Uh, their opponent's going to be <coughs> NATO team again. This time we have uh, Mongo10 joining NATO, um, formerly of Austria. Playing Brits in green and Breeze Brothers is back. Age of Killer again in orange. Uh, playing India. So uh, see if we see uh, another consulate uh, aggro build. Ooh. Little treasure contention here. Over 80 XP. Zoe does take that down. Uh, at the same time, use the vill to pick up 50 coin on his base. Uh, gonna get his TP down here. Uh, this map um, is pretty interesting if you've never played on it. There's quite a bit of hunt, I would say. There's also two trade lines. Uh, they run independent of each other. You can see the two Travoy carts. Uh, two TPs each, and I believe that if you upgrade one line, they both will upgrade. So, uh, kind of interesting dynamic, similar dynamic to what you see on the new Colorado map. Uh, both these maps made by Ricky doing a great job supplementing the maps guard just made and hopefully we'll see some maps from Durkin soon also uh, go to the forums thank those guys check out the custom map workshop workshop that he's running uh, Mongo here working on 80 food treasure Zoe with a mask up and a TP so his XP trickles coming in quick uh, house coming down now. Is at 1010. Standard play from German so far with the TP. Uh, two manners down for the Brit, and looks like Breeze uh, doing something similar as before. Trying to be like 11, 12 village up. Here comes his forward villager. Um, He's gonna take down this native scout. We'll see. He he kind of has to make a choice here. I mean, he could put the aggro here, but more than likely he's gonna pick a side um, he looks like he's shading towards Zoe's side so uh, this this map is kind of designed pretty similarly to Himalayas actually where we just saw um, NATO France game 2 I would say the defending players here um, more of aggressive civ combination with Ottoman of course either gonna have a lot of Jans or a lot of Abyss or a quick FF or FI uh, and Spahi, Mameluk, Cannon, you know, a lot of options and probably gonna see the German player doing the classic you know full Ulan or Ulan semi FF Behind this, we'll, I wonder if we'll see Mongo go for Cav, uh, filling the role that Tibia kind of played as as France with with Breeze playing India. No aggro down yet, um, and Zoe is a quarter of the way up, so this may get tricky if they plan to be as aggressive as they were before. Here, okay, here comes the aggro. So shaded to Zoe side, but still pretty pretty centralized. Um, we'll see where Mongo if Mongo chooses to to send forward soon. Breeze picking up a uh, tomahawk here. Just going to be annoying with that. Those things, uh, they don't do a, do a ton of damage on their own, but if uh, there's any forward vills out here, he's, he can be quite annoying with that. He's definitely going to be able to deny this hunt. Insane Red's back here. Uh, starting to herd this back hunt in, which is good. This hunt's kind of gotten away. I don't know if he knows it's down there. But uh, there's quite a lot of deer in that herd. Needs to probably start working that in. He, see, he comes out to herd this hunt, I think is what his plan was. Maybe to Forwardville. 
Now it looks like they were going to go forward, but Zoe's going to see that the aggro is here. I wonder if he'll walk over to his teammate's base now and build there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was the herd. Usually you want to build with a settler wagon. So having that tomahawk uh, denied, he walked all the way out here, didn't even get a chance to shoot this hunt back, and then walked all the way back to his main. A lot of lost mining time. Uh, Manor House coming up from Mongo. Going to get a second vill out, and we'll see if he chooses stable or barracks. Uh, Insane Red's actually going to come over to Zoe. <laughs> this is really interesting. Zoe sent his vill over to his opponent's side. Uh, Settler Wagon coming over here from Insane Red. Probably going to put the stable down. This Tomahawk continues to be annoying. Okay, stable from Mongo. So we're going to see this in Consulate. So we're going to see the same thing out of the NATO team here. And we saw the success they had with the last time against the walls of, uh, or not, the lack of walls from Kinesi. No walls here from either of these players. Um, Zoe's opening Abyss, no surprise. Going to try to abuse those as much as he can. But again, we're going to have kind of this split activity here given the the distance between the two bases and where this location is they can easily walk around this path and attack the german player so we'll, we'll see what happens um is he gonna are they gonna scout they, they must know that they've built over here because he didn't see anything in the german player's base so we're working on the tps See if he gets stagecoach in. Uh, his opponent has one also, so it wouldn't be a bad investment. This TP is probably going to be too risky to take given the proximity to the forward base, but he could uh, try to sneak in and get it. First two Ulans coming out to raid there from Insane Red. Uh, probably the first five Abyss coming out shortly. Still a lot of wood on the ground here from Zoe. And. Oh wow, that's pretty smart actually. So he left. He he should have left all three crates there, but he leaves two crates in. So these are both uh, going to grow substantially when the Silk Road comes in. So this is 360 right now. We'll see up to 485, and I believe if this was on 25, this got another 25, so it was on 40. So he got 150 wood essentially out of that Silk Road shipment. Plus he's got two TPs now and should be starting stagecoach I would think. Also 700 coin coming in so we're going to see uh, the 700 coins really going to be 50, uh, more like 900 something or 875, quite a bit more. Uh, two cab in the back, two hussar chasing them down so good, you know, good job by Mongo, he's not over committing to to defend this raid. If he can get these guys snared, the raid will end pretty quickly. Four Ulan uh, working on this side. We'll see what he can find over here. Decent job herding by Breeze. Very good job herding by Mongo. These cab are going to get picked up. We'll see if he micros this away or he does lose. So he does lose one uh, Hussar, so not an awful trade by um, <coughs> Insane red, but not not perfect either. He should have lost both, and both Hussar should have lived. But uh, Mongo's got other things to do: building manors, booming, making Hussar. Uh, got to be careful because these guys are going to be ready to to push out anytime now. Once the Abyss numbers get up, he's on five. He's going to be up to fifteen plus a five Jan. So he'll have uh, essentially twenty infantry against. Breeze has quite a few um, sepoy. He's got his red coats in. Seems like uh, the red player here has been trying to raid. I don't think he's really got much damage in. He's going to get one vill, four hussar coming here, uh, five huss against four huss against five ulan. Uh, it's going to come down to micro. The huss should win, I would think. And uh, yeah, now they're going to win for sure. Another four joining. Abus continuing to come out here. No stagecoach upgrade on the TP line. Uh, the hunt situation does not look very good here. Um, he needs to get this hunt going. 
and he's losing a lot of cav. I mean, he's got uh, putting a tower up now, so I think he's that's kind of an overreaction at this point. Mongo has 10, 12 Hussar, and uh, Red Player has 2 Cav, 1, 3, 3 Ulan, and I don't think he's done any damage. A couple Vils here and there, but certainly not enough to justify losing, prob you know, he's probably lost 15 uh, Ulan so far, I would say. And, you know, behind this, Mongo is just making manners, getting market upgrades, booming, adding a second stable. And pretty soon the crates are going to run out for the Ottoman player. And um, at that point, he, they they have to go. And by then, you know, he's going to be pumping out from two stables. The Indian player, you know, his he went with an aggressive build. But behind this, his eco is going to be just fine. The harass has done nothing. Uh, the tower here defending this hunt. He, he is coming down here on this herd now, but the cav are coming in. The Avis are moving across, but without any cav to defend, to kind of body block the Hussar here, I'm not sure that it's going to matter. Um, he's got five Jans mixed in. That's not going to be enough to defend from the Hussar that Mongo has. Five more coming in now. This tower is going to go down. The one settler wagon that's in it is going to go down. Here come the Avis. Uh, He's got one 600 coin crate left. I mean, at this point, oh wow, insane red aged up. Uh, if he can get, you know, he, if he was all on gold right now, I would say if he could get black riders out, there would be a chance. I don't think that's going to happen. It's probably going to be just a war wagon shipment and three war wagons and three Ulan versus this number of Hussar and this amount of muskets is not going to be enough to defend these Avis. And I think Zoe probably knows that he's tr he's being really defensive with these, and he's gonna get flanked from behind with all these cav and just pinched in here. And this is uh, gonna be a quick 1-0 um, for the NATO team here. So again, NATO looking very strong, and the Avis almost get a full, almost fully surrounded here. You know, good job moving them forward. War wagons pop out way too late. All the Avis are gone. Um, some Soar back home probably picked off a batch of Avis that just popped out so gonna be 1-0 for the NATO team here just a matter of time until they bow out all the Avis cleaned up two more uh, four war wagons coming <laughs> Mongo deletes all of his calf I wonder if that was intentional or not. Zoe is out, and it'll be a matter of time. Say, Mongo delete more of his calf. So it looks like Strong World should be renamed Troll World so far in the games that I've seen today. But uh, nonetheless, 1 0. NATO right now leading over Sweden, heading to game number two. see what the civ and map selection is so we have uh, Kamchatka as the map breeze in standard orange playing port again so uh, <clears throat> no water this time for the big boom Mongo playing Spain An interesting choice and on this side we have insane red as the French and Zoe as China so this is a pretty good China map there's uh, a lot of goats so he can gather the goats, put them on his villages. Uh, we'll see if he chooses to. He, he did take down 40 wood, so that's going to make him make it a lot easier for him to get his second village up and get his three villager shipment if, if that's what he chooses to do. Um, Mongo is going to stumble across a 50 wood treasure, so. It was a. Yeah, it was a 200 wood start, I believe. So he's going to get uh, TP. He's going to take the middle TP. Gathering up the goats. So, so far, he, you know, they, this team's done a pretty good job of getting goats. 
Um, if you if you play this map or if you you know spawn this map to study it, you'll see that a lot of goats spawn in this middle area um, because the 200 wood start. The French player went right for his TP, and I, I didn't see which way he sent his native scout. But I don't think they picked up many goats here in the middle. I don't see any back home for him. Only two goats, five goats back for Zoe. So he got a couple. Um, and he's also, I think he stole those from the opposing team. He's going to grab this goat also and find this wood treasure. So 50 wood here. So he's picking up the 90 wood in the middle. That's going to help him um, a lot. You, you know, you want, you need to get the second village up as, if you're China to get the three vill shipment. But you also, if you're planning to be aggressive, which I would say Zoe is known to be an aggressive player, you don't want to spend a lot of time chopping wood. It slows you down a lot. China can actually have a really good age up time um, for an Asian sieve with constant vill production if they uh, don't have to chop wood. But in order to do that and uh, without the help of wood treasures you can only get one village so you only get a two vill shipment which is pretty underwhelming. Um, being able to get both villages down, get the northern, northern refugees, three vills, and not chop wood. He's gonna he's gonna be about as strong as he can be. Uh, Breeze also with the TP. And now they're both uh, treasure gathering together. Gonna five and find the 85 wood over here. There's quite a few wood treasures on this map. Um, I think it's the Siberia treasure set. So just like Siberia has several wood treasures, this map also spawns a lot of wood treasures. Uh, Zoe actually has quite a few goats. Um, here's his starting goat. He didn't. Uh, I don't know if he ever did. No, it can't be a starting goat. He's got quite a bit. So he's going to have a big food income in about five minutes, six minutes or so when these guys fatten up. Only 300 food, but uh, still the gather rate so fast. More food treasure or more wood treasures being gathered, and we'll see what happens here. Uh, 17 bill Q is kind of the magic number for China age up. Um, usually, if you eat the goat that you start with around this time, you can do it idleless, so you can get 17 bills, get your wonder down, and maintain your bill production. And I heard the goat die. Where is it at? Yep. So he's eating a goat here. He's going to be up quick, uh, and relatively quick for China. And yeah, so pretty standard so far. Uh, Mongo is up. He switched over to wood. Eco Theory coming in for his second card. So he's going to be uh, have quite a strong economy. We'll see what uh, Breeze did. Eco Theory also. So Eco Theory in for both uh, the NATO players. I'm just going to assume that uh, our French playing friend here sent 3 CDB, of course. Standard card. Uh, they're both going to come over here. Does Zoe have, or does Breeze have a crack? He must not have a crack shot, but both of them together can work on these samurai. This uh, 300 XP will help both players tremendously. Uh, very aggressive forward bills here for Breeze. On the other side of the map, I would say across the uh, central wet area, and we'll see if he turns. Yeah, he's gonna turn around. Um, assuming Mongo will probably be up with the tower. Yep, philosopher prince. So uh, we'll see. If probably a aggressive tower here in this area. He's got a forward vill, so we'll see if it's gonna be stable or barracks. I'm assuming that. You know, one of them will choose to go stable, given that the French player will probably go stable. They could they could go double musket, but uh, I think you run the risk in this matchup that Chokinu are actually pretty good at countering musket. They just struggle against Cav, and if the French player can supplement uh, the China army with a lot of Cav to defend the other team's Cav, that uh, they can do okay. So stable from Mongo. Actually, I think uh, I would like a double Cavs start against China would not be so bad. 
the pikemen that they have are actually not very good. Mongo does take down the the 300 XP, and Breeze is starting with a barrack, so could maybe musket from Breeze, Cav, uh, Hussar from Mongo. Uh, the Swedish team also F Bean in the central area, so we're probably going to see action pretty quick. Uh, maybe Mon no, no tower. I mean, no. Philosopher Prince must be the food Egypt. Barracks from Zoya and a forward village, so he's going to have a forward ship point. And eight pike, nine pike first. Gonna start sieging this racks right away. 150 coin treasure, that's a nice pickup too. Um, he doesn't really need coin, but he can, if he does get a market down, he can use that to get uh, his, uh, his upgrades in. Goes right for the stable. Um, this probably is an overreach. The units are gonna come out of this barracks and gonna pin in these uh, pike. They're not gonna be able to get out. They do go to hand combat, but uh, Th that's not going to save much. The first old Han batch is coming out behind this. Four cab from his teammate. Pretty good control here by Breeze so far with his muskets. The dogs popped out here and they're doing a lot of damage to these pike. And the explorer of Mongo is in there tanking, you know, tanking a lot of damage too from the pike. <sighs> Chokanu, um, picking off muskets here. He is sieging this barracks behind this. I, th I think if he would have kept his all of his pike back here and sieged the racks, he would he probably would be really close to taking it down now. But instead, it's another batch of muskets probably going to pop out any time, and it's going to be able to pick off uh, the cav. Mongo only got one hussar out. I wonder if he canceled because the pike were there, or he only just got one hussar out because he was housed or something. I wasn't paying that close of attention. Uh, Choke a new shipment coming out now, and. Uh, a lot of potential here. Uh, three cab remaining from the red player. He's due for a new batch anytime now. And here come uh, another four. Muskets come out. Uh, about half of a musket falls. And he's not going to... He, he doesn't run. He's going to lose at least one, maybe two. Nope. One comes out. One goes down, I should say. Uh, Mongo running his, his Hussar that he does have. Trying to find some raiding... Uh, fortunately for the Swedish team, Zoya is on this kind of the open side of the map, and with his villages defending all of his villagers, he's uh, it's going to be really hard for Mago to find any damage on him. And he's done a great job hurting. He's got this hunt pretty much you know right under his town center. Two hunts there actually. Uh, the FB goes down for the NATO team. Just pulls all his bills in. Red Cav comes in, pushes that away. And it's looking very good right now for uh, our Swedish friends, Soy and Insane Red. Who I don't know if he's actually from Sweden or not, but uh, that's okay. Strong world is open. A couple Cav coming in here. They do find uh, one villager kill. TP falling now for Mongo. Step Riders coming out for Zoe. Continuing to make Old Han. Uh, Mongo starting to make rods. I'm not sure. Rod musket is the greatest combo against uh, what they have here. Chokanu, if you know, he can just hit and run with his Chokanu all day. Mongo, actually, I think he's gonna try. Yeah, he's going up also. So maybe rod uh, musket cannon. If he can get the two cannons out, could do a lot of damage. Essentially, render the red cav useless. It uh, looks like uh, the red player also is probably saving to age up. Let's switch over to him. Nope, he's got another five cap coming out. He could he could cancel those if he wanted to and age up, and he might do that depending on how hard they win this fight. Uh, good good job, Mongo had the rods up front, pushed the cab away, but you know, the Chokanu at range are just picking apart all these heavy infantry. Now the cab are coming in to snare, puts puts some of them into melee, which is good but uh, Chokanu coming in here just picking him off five more cav in from the red player um, Zoe's mass is quite large now continuing to push up these rods in the back did find the cav so they'll end that raiding threat 
Cav HP coming in for Insane Red. Um, Zoya's got 700 wood coming in now. We'll see if he uh, chooses to add a consulate soon. Probably when he gets the 700 wood out, he'll add the consulate, add a market, uh, maybe a, take the center TP. The two racks from here, from Breeze here, are going to be in jeopardy. He's going to bring the pike up, start sieging on those. Meanwhile, I'll just continue to push in with the Chokanu, wait for. Uh, he doesn't want to overcommit here too much. Um, the eight crossbow ship from Breeze, but uh, he may he could check Breeze. Let's check Breeze's deck. He doesn't have Colonial Militia, so he doesn't have to. If uh, Zoe's a pretty smart player, he probably checked the deck, saw no Colonial Militia, so he doesn't have to worry about a big Minutemen pop uh, surprising his army here. But nonetheless. No reason to not play safe with the advantage they have right now. Just continue to siege down barracks. Insane Red now up to the, on his way up to the third age himself. And he's probably going to get there around the same time Mongo does because he has the fast age politician. Mongo is fortress, but uh, Insane Red right behind him. So the cannons, if, if Mongo chooses to go cannon first, let's see. Yep, the two cannons coming. Insane Red, he'll either have the option of uh, shipping two cannons of his own. Mongo calling Minutemen now too. I think he and he's not pulling these bills back. I'm trying to decisively kill these cav, but he did lose a couple of bills. He lost one, maybe two, two cav, three cav of his own. And you know, two of these cav get. A, Get away! Oh, he's gonna get, he's gonna lose another one, but maybe not the best uh, usage of 300 resources there. So the cannons are out now. You know, here's the the chance for Team NATO right now. They need to use these cannons um, while they can. They need to get this uh, stable down, clean this area out before he can start spamming goons. Once the goons come out with this mass of China infantry, it's going to be very hard uh, to regain this position. And the advantage of having shipping the cannons first is going to be wasted. Uh, Insane Red, he's going straight to uh, Cursair, which actually may be the wrong choice here. Although Mongo did switch to start making uh, Lancer. If, if Mongo would have continued on Rod, it could have been a worse scenario. But the the Kurs are going to pop out and be interesting to see if he goes waypoints right to the cannons. And he does, and the block is not in place. He's going to lose at least one, and I don't know if he's close enough to get the second one or not. One is down, and he, he is from, uh, he, I think he had it in the back and then he moved his units. One cannon still up, and it's doing a lot of damage on uh, Zoe's infantry. Still up, still at full health. It's uh, not being controlled though. He needs to be shooting into this big clump of infantry. The pike's now back. Uh, between the pikes and the cav, and what Zoe has left, the cannon does get one more shot off. Kills a pretty sizable chunk, but it is going to fall now. Another old Han batch coming out. Uh, another batch occurs about the pop. And behind this, uh, Breeze was going to H3, so he wasn't making any reinforcing units. Uh, Mongo does have some um, Lancer Rod, which are now going to be, I think, uh, rendered pretty useless once the goons start coming out from the red player. Now that Breeze is up, he uh, also needs to get... The, you know, I don't even know what he should go for right now. Maybe just mass organ gun, given the size of this clump of infantry that Zoe still has, and the the curves coming out here. I, I mean, this is looking pretty grim right now for the NATO team. Looking like Sweden's going to be able to push this back to uh, one to one score and push to game three, but not out of it yet. Um, the villager migration is on. It is gonna get scouted by the red calf here so we'll see what happens uh, moving in here looking to get a few kills 
goon's gonna turn and get a, a shot off. Uh, most of the HP taken off one of the lancers. A thousand wood coming in behind this for the French player. Gonna look to add some TCs. We'll see if uh, no skills and making vills for Zoy. Only 34 vills. Continue to make old Han. Does have his market up. He's getting civil servants, which is uh, gonna be a small boost to all of his gathering, right? Mongo fighting here by himself. Uh, this is not going to go well. Should never, especially with a small of a unit count, try to engage there on his own. Only uh, four cast doors, minute men. Two organs come out. Um, not going to be enough. I think there's enough red cav. And even with the choking, I think he could just focus those down. They're not going to be able to do enough damage. Breeze's second town. Uh, Breeze. I think he's done. A lot of idols here, not hunting. This hunt's gonna dry up soon. His uh, two town centers that he's gotten from aging up are very far forward, so he can't use them defensively. Um, the red coats out from Zoe just meleeing down those organ guns. But if he were to have these, maybe one here and one here. A little closer, he could maybe leverage the Minutemen to help out in defending. Certainly would be another safe area to gather. Uh, there's no protection for these vills, and there's a ton of their vills here. Some Casadors coming out, but uh, still five Corsairs left. Another batch, well, another batch of five found uh, the gather point over here that Mongo was looking to do. There are four uh, veteran rods there, but against five Kerr. If he turns and fights with the uh, splash area damage, it shouldn't be an issue. Should be able to clean those up. TC is going to fall here. Zoe continuing with old Han. I wonder if uh, he's going to consider trying to age up. At this point, I think they, they, they have the game won. It may be more of a risk to try to age up rather than just keep pumping units. Especially with having a French teammate who's got quite an eco and is up with the ability to make a uh, very good heavy cab and uh, a good counter to cab with a goon that China really doesn't have. Uh, Breeze is out, so this game is over. Expect Mongo to follow behind soon, especially since uh, his vills gathering down here are about to run out of uh, hunts. And they turn. Do go to his town center next. Five more rods coming out. He did clean up those uh, what cab were left over there. These five rods trying to find, pick off some of the reinforcing units. I wonder if he knows, if, they, if they're communicating on Skype or something, he certainly knows that Breeze is out, but if they aren't, he may not realize that Breeze quit. Zoe just uh, leveraging his infantry mass here to clean up these rods. He should just turn his pikes and just click on the TC at this point. A couple more rods coming out. These rods trying to escape, uh, taking some shots. Uh, even if they do escape, I don't think they're going to find any damage. Five cav here looking for the uh, eco of the green player. See if he turns the right direction or not. Finds Breeze, but he hasn't found this area yet. But the hunts are, you know, there's one hunt left. A lot of idols over here. This just a matter of time till Mongo clicks the resign button. TC going to fall shortly. Couple rods still being annoying there. Two cannons now from Insane Red. Gonna expedite this TC going down. What rods are left? Uh, 
take out a couple cav, and that's it. Good game. Score is evened up at 1-1. One, one. And we'll go to game three. The deciding match in this NATO versus Sweden uh, strong world matchup. And uh, new map again for today, Hudson Bay. Haven't seen a game here yet. Uh, this time on the left side, Zoe in yellow for Sweden playing India. And his teammate, Insane Red, in the color red as usual, uh, this time playing as Russia. Their opponents on the right side, we have uh, HF Killer, aka Breeze Brothers, in his typical orange, playing French, and his teammate, Mongo10, uh, in blue as Russia. So both, both teams have a Russia, and the difference being the French versus India. Uh, both both strong team game civ, so I don't really think there's a civ advantage necessarily either way. Um, this map does have water. I'm not so sure we're going to see any water play. The Russian players would be the ones most likely to go water. Uh, being that Mongo spawned on the south side away from the water, we're probably not going to see him do it. Insane Red is on the water side. He, he could go water more easily, but uh, given that they're their Civ combination probably favors more aggressive play. I doubt that we'll see that. We'll probably see forward Agra, forward Blockhouse, um, try to starve the other team out and win pretty quickly. But you never know, given that we've seen some kind of troll, crazy, off-the-wall builds today uh, with the native play, and uh, you never know what'll happen. Uh, CDB treasure coming here. A little contention between the French player and the Indian player. Oh, nope. They're a Russian player and the Indian player, sorry. So the Sweden team is uh, working this treasure down together. Gonna get the CDB. Um, really will benefit either civilization. See, the Russian player will take it, so he'll have a 15 vil age up if that's what he chooses to do. Uh, interesting here by um, Breeze. He's going for a 12-10. Um, we could see very aggressive play out of this team. Uh, Mongo probably going to go 14. Yeah, Mongo is going to go 14 vil up. Breeze is going to 12-10. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Breeze does a Irish faithful here and goes with three cab first. And they try to use the three cav plus the five Cossack that uh, Mongols ship and whatever units they can get out and try to take down the blockhouse quickly. Oh, interesting. Uh, Zoe is going to play economic style. Um, this is going to be a Carney Mata, which is going to boost all of his gathering in the back. And maybe we'll see uh, the CDB may build a defensive blockhouse on this side be interesting to see if he goes with the barracks or he goes uh, with a stable. He, he might go stable and go Zam, uh, thinking that he can counter the French Cav, but uh, could be could be Sepoy also, or some mixture of Sepoy Gurkha. Uh, the NATO team here working on a 60 wood treasure together. Good, good treasure gathering teamwork so far in this game. And you can see uh, Breeze scouting here with his native. He's probably looking for an aggro fort and thinking, where the hell is this aggro going to go? I don't think they would be expecting Zoya to have a Carney in the back. Uh, going for 300 coin here, the Swedish team. Again, this is pretty good uh, treasure teamwork. You can take down some of these treasures a lot more easily, having two explorers or three explorers in this case. Forward Vils coming. Uh, from Breeze, probably gonna look to place a stable, and let's see what he ships when he gets up. Interesting. Uh, Insane Red didn't gather up all of his wood crates. Try to uh, do a better job of doing a 14 vil. Oh wow, 18 vil age. 
So this aggressive play, 12-10 from Breeze, could be really powerful here. Uh, there's going to be no aggro, and there's going to be slow age behind this for both the Swedish players. 18 village up for Russia, and a, a slow building Kearney for uh, Zoe's India. It looks like they're going to be, you know, kind of a TP line, half map aggressive. They're not going to try to get really tight in, uh, probably because they think they're going to run into an aggro fort and a block house somewhere, but um, little do they know, or maybe they do know, that their opponents are choosing to play quite uh, economically focused. So, yep, Breeze is up. He's going to go with the three Hussar first and a Barracks. Interesting. And we'll see with uh, Mongo block house, of course. So, And they do scout it right away. They can start sieging this. Um, they would be get some HP off. So maybe a ton of muskets coming out here. Um, so he actually made pretty good time. Did he 10-10 with an aggro? I wasn't paying attention that well. That was a really quick, or er, with a Carney mod, that was a pretty quick age up. And he's going to start consulate, so um, we'll see if he's going to ship 300 export with his first Card. And he actually took a water deck, which is interesting. Starts. They are sieging now. Um, you can see the kind of damage they've done already. This thing's pretty close to being finished, and it's we got about half HP, less than half HP. Uh, yeah. So blockhouse with only less than a thousand HP. Uh, Zoe does ship export first. A little slow on the trigger there, but that's okay. Uh, the black house of the red player is also down in a fairly defensive location. Here come the three cav and five musket from uh, Breeze Brothers. And I will expect to see Mongo is going to have his five Cossack and five musket of his own. So kind of like a double Russian start. You can only imagine how powerful this would have been if they would have been sieging this black house like their opponents uh, were sieging the blue black house. If this only had a thousand HP, and let's we'll, let's watch it, it's down to 1800 already. But they'd be able to rip this thing down in no time, and uh, Insane Red wouldn't really have a chance. Uh, Breeze does bring his three cav into raid right away, forces the Vils to be pulled back. Insane Red starting uh, Cossack Strillet, and you know this thing would be dead right now if they had the same. Uh, Siege damage done as the as Mongo's blockhouse had, and it, I don't think they're going to get this down in time. Yeah, they are going to get it down in time uh, before the units come out, so they're going to deny at least the first batch of Strillet, and uh, the five cav are going to pop out at home. And the blockhouse does go down. Uh, meanwhile, Zoe did start stable with Ottoman consulate, so and he called his uh, Minutemen already at least his first. I oh, called both sets, so got did get one of uh, Mongo's cav. Gonna try to get off another one here. Gonna at least get some shots on it, and we'll see where uh, where our NATO friends go here from here. They've cleaned out the the first blockhouse, uh, second blockhouse coming down very defensively behind the town center at home for the red player. Four cav coming out from him as well. His five uh, five Cossack do catch the raiding three Hussar from Breeze at home. And you know they need to find some damage soon. This Carney Mata is really boosting uh, the Indian eco here. And with Breeze being a 1210, his eco is not nearly as strong as what you'd expect from uh, a French player. So with Four Zams out with the uh, about to be nine Cav and a big Minutemen pop. He's gonna snare all these units, and I think you now he does get out. Uh, they, I think they should just back up here. I think uh, if they if they fight and maybe they're not on the same page. It looked like Mongo uh, Breeze was ready to fight. Mongo was running away. The Cav gets snared. The musket. Uh, if they get snared, this whole army is probably gonna go down with a, a lot of Minutemen here. Strelitz coming out, the Zams in the back. Uh, five Sepoy shipped in now with more Zams joining. Five uh, more Musket from Mongo. Mongo is going to add a Blockhouse and a Stable down here. Um, yeah, I, th I think uh, 
too big of an overcommitment there from the NATO team, and they're going to get cleaned up, and that that's going to be the end of their pressure, and that's going to be a huge advantage for Team Sweden because they both open with very economic focused build orders, and they're going to take a big advantage right now. Musket and melee going to try to pick off uh, a couple of these Cossacks chasing. Going to get one, and that's going to be it. This blockhouse is barely going to finish before this pressure gets here. Stable also. Uh, he paused on the stable to finish the blockhouse, which is probably a smart move if he if he does get over and now he pulls his vills and now he's going to finish the stable. Uh, the two blockhouses, you know, at this time, uh, these blockhouses, if nothing else, are going to buy time. Still, let's pop out. He does have some muskets. Breeze uh, adds a stable also, so he he just needs to get units out. I think his eco is lagging because of the three hussar first uh, card order that he chose. With does have five hus coming in. He's gonna you know, he's gonna get trapped between muskets and melee and these zambrax, and he's gonna lose these calf. Uh, four sour coming in from the back from Zoe. He's gonna pinch the rest of Mongo's infantry with t with the 10, 13 strel coming in from the red player. And they're just cleaning up right now. Um, the blockhouse is adding fire. I don't know if uh, Mongo is going to be able to get out. Any cab? No, he's right now. He's at least just getting trying to get the strelit out. And with the number of strelit from the red player plus the sour from the Indian player, um, anything that pops out right here is just going to die. I think he'd be better off just canceling this batch, trying to rebuild at home. Uh, just just sacrificing this FB altogether try to defend and he is going to block house back near his teammates forward base and even that might be too aggressive I think they at this point they need to fall all the way back this is going to fall um, right after you know, this this is going down right now the next path is going to be to this base this is going to fall they don't they're not going to be able to get the mass up in time to defend uh, back at home more Zams coming Probably could start switching to some Sawar. Mar musket coming in from the red player. 26 vills for Mongo versus uh, 26 vills. So that, uh, at least vill wise, they're still doing okay. Um, Breeze did get his 4 vill Cav HP in, so he's doing okay. I wonder about how he's done for market ups, but. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, maybe they can hold here. We'll see. Stable goes down. So that you know that did buy qu buy quite a bit of time. Uh, looks like Breeze is going to send these five cav out to try to raid. I think that's uh, maybe not the best play. He's going to need to do a lot of damage to make that worthwhile, especially with this attack coming. He could really use those five cav to jam in on the Russian player's infantry. More Zams coming in the back from Zoe. Uh, only 10 Strel out for Mongo right now. He needs to get another batch out right away. And I think uh, they're going to be able to target the Vils. Good pick by Mongo. Pulls that back. Didn't lose it. Really needs to get this blockhouse up before uh, the attack comes in. They're going to try to snipe the villagers that are building it. And I mean, if they start sieging it now, it won't matter if he chooses to build it or not. Uh, Breeze is going to clean up several vills here, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Uh, for Cossack for pop out in a bad spot um, relative to where this was positioned. If he could have got this up, he could have popped those on this side right into Strillet, but uh, because he didn't get this up, they had to come out of this blockhouse and they kind of got trapped in the midst of all these buildings. And now uh, the mass here of the Swedish team is kind of overwhelming. These Hussar did get a lot of vill villager kills, but now they're going to get caught by the Zambarak. Uh, the the Cav that were here are dead now. One villager trying to come up to finish building this blockhouse is going to get denied. Uh, Zoe does need to be careful here to not fight with just his uh, Zams against this infantry mass. Cav here. He, he and so he looks like he has switched to full sour now. Gonna try to catch all the remaining uh, cab breeze. 
red infantry and the sour that are at the front are getting on top of um, the infantry that Breeze does have left. And it looks like it's going to be uh, a 2 0 comeback to to win 2 1 here for the Swedish team against NATO. And um, if, if Sweden can get enough games in, it looks like they could be a pretty strong contender uh, for the remaining Code S spot. They took down NATO here, who is in or will be in CODES shortly, so um, we'll see if the team uh, Shady Swedes, Zoe, Zuda Zuda, and Insane Red can uh, make some noise here in this Strong World event. You did get the blockhouse up, but the uh, 700 coin came to the front blockhouse. There's sh that's surely not going to be able to get gathered up, and he really needs that right now any resources they can get they need and um just, ooh, and he, the strillet walked the wrong way right into the sour of the of the yellow player and those get cleaned up the strillet that were in the back are getting cleaned up by the red strillet and cossack and more cossacks coming in from the red player now uh the indian players eco behind this with the carney it's pretty strong Mongo's still trying to make units, but uh, it's not going to be enough. At this point, I don't think there's any coming back from this for Team NATO, and it's just a matter of time until they say GG. Minutemen coming in, one last effort. Maybe you can combine that with a big pop, clean everything up but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't think Breeze is... Uh, yeah, there it is. Good game. Uh, Sweden wins 2-1. to one. So that's it for today for me. Um, Smackdown will be coming soon.